the Christmas parties were usually for about eight or ten people. The, the whole of the, the front gallery was made into the dining room, not where they normally had their dinner parties, but this was for the special Christmas party because they didn't normally have as many as eight or ten people, and was beautifully decorated. And in the centre was this unbelievable Christmas tree, which was made of pottery, made by David and Hermia Boyd, and Margie would hang it with precious baubles, and they really were precious, they were lovely, for little children, things that were beautiful to hold in your hands, but actually too beautiful to give little children. But all the mothers would sit around, eyeing the tree, wanting to choose their bauble, you see. Each mother could choose the first bauble for her first child, and she'd put that beside her. Then the next mother would choose her bauble, and you'd watch the baubles disappearing, and her eyes were greedy, because they were so lovely, weren't they, Murray? Yes. I, and then, because I had four children, then I'd go around four times, you see, so I'd get the most, which looked awful, because I'd have a pile <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> yes, well, the Christmas card was uh, uh, quite extraordinary, really. The artist uh, was uh, Hurley. Hurley. Yeah. Max Hurley. Max Hurley. And uh, he was... Uh, a very good artist in the sense that uh, you know he could use colour but he's also a cartoonist and he uh, made this Christmas card which was uh, depicting Margie and Brian riding into the heavens led by Lindy the dog and Margie on the back of the sleigh throwing out paintings that all the artists that they'd supported and you can pick up the artist by just looking at the beautiful um, paintings of them. You know, without seeing a signature, who they are. <laughs> so it's a very good Christmas card indeed. Mm. They were the greatest parties. They were really lovely and so elegant and decorative and beautifully thought out. Just, they were the loveliest parties. Mm. That was a Christmas party, though, distinct from the massive parties that we used to have. Oh, quite for, different. You know, where there'd be 30 or so people, mm. and they were pretty riotous <laughs> and great fun. Because all the you know, best friends that had supported Brian from the word go were there and uh, all very jolly. And Brian would sit in the middle as though he was the great godfather. Or the sultan. Yeah, or the sultan. Everything at the Johnsons was memorable. Every occasion was memorable. Hmm. That's right. <laughs>